Give a go over your host, guys. Give a go over your host. Oh, somebody left their phone up here. Somebody left their phone. Is that you? Daisy. Por qué? Por qué sí. There you go. Give a go over, guys. Give a go over. Fantastic. Oh, no. I dropped my cards. Don't worry. There's just uh, just quotes of Hitler's Mein Kampf on here, so don't, don't worry at all about it at all. It's a great bar. I've only been here once, and uh, it's nice, because being back, I'm like, just the size of this fan alone, I'm just like, oh, I know fights happen here for sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone's vying for the spot, and they're just like, move, dog, fuck, dog. I'm just waiting for the Samoan dude. Any, any Samoan people in here? No? No? No, because they're out roasting pigs. That's right, that's right. Woo! Or they're doing security. Hello. That's, there we go. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love some old people. They're just jacked up Mexicans, if you really think about it. Yeah, with no necks. Just like, what's up, dog? What's up, what's up? What's up? That's right, that's right fam. I like some of those because they're the only other race that can say the N-word. You know what I'm saying? And they, can, and they just get away with it. They don't make, right, right? And, and anytime they do say it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Because it's weird when a Mexican guy says it. I'm like, hey, like, relax. Just say homie or... Just say homie or fool or like dog or perro or something, some shit like that. Don't say that. It's not us, bro, you know? But, uh, but yeah, I've been, uh, been uh, coasting, been, uh, doing, uh, been doing some weird shit. I just signed up for Medi-Cal recently. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the only problem is that I put down that I was Cuban. Yeah, I am Mexican. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be good. I have a fear that they're going to come to my house and they're going to double check that I am Cuban, so I got to like put up. Posters of Castro, you know, Cuban Missile Crisis, some shit like that. I gotta stop, talk, start talking with an accent a little bit, you know? It's my biggest fear. Yeah, but I'm originally from Southern California, but I just moved back here from Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Utah sucks. Uh, Utah, Utah is what I call progressive aggressive. What that means is I got told 10 times, go back to Cali instead of telling me, go back to Mexico. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. Step in the right direction. It was kind of iffy. I was like, I'll still take it, you know? Yeah, but the, the Mormons are really weird out there. They got some crazy, crazy laws. They actually have a no helmet policy for motorcycles out there, so you don't got to wear a helmet. I thought that shit was cool, but then I saw some of the faces, and I was like, put that shit back on. I don't want to see that at all. A mug only a mother could love. That's right, that's right. It, you think it's somebody fancy, you know, because over here, you don't know who's underneath. You're like, is that a celebrity? Is that a good-looking guy? Is that a model? Over there is just Walter who works at uh, Jimmy Dean's. That's it. That's who it is. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. Yeah. No, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, a lot of Utah, actually, majority of the schools, they don't teach sexual education there. Yeah, and they don't. 99% uh, of the toilets, the public toilets, they don't have toilet seat covers. Yeah, so there really is no protection being taught anywhere. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, but the white people are really weird out there. Really fucking weird. They're cool out here because we're around brown, you know, they're around brown people for the most part. But over there, they're just like, they're kind of weird. I, I, I worked with this one girl who told me, didn't even ask for her opinion. She comes up to me, she goes, by the way, just letting you know, I know the lyrics for Blowjob Betty by Too Short. What? Oh. And immediately, two seconds afterwards, starts rapping it. <laughs> with the N-words. I was like, hey, I just want to know if you can cover my shift or not. No, no, is this yes? No, Kelly, yes, yes, possibly. Nah, but the Mormons, the Mormons control everything there. They really do. They got their hands and everything. Mormons hate alcohol, but Mormons especially hate whiskey. The reason why Mormons hate whiskey is because a majority of the whiskey barrels are aged 13 years, which is far too old for a bunch of the Mormons there. Yeah. Don't groan, you're gonna sound just like the kids. Okay, please, for the love of God, there we go. Ching, bang, bang, that's right, that's right. Uh, I had a little thought today on the ride over here. Um, do you guys think stingrays, look at the stingray that killed Steve Irwin, how we look at OJ Simpson? They're just like, yo, he got away with that shit, dog. Juice is loose, baby. Mm, that's right, I quit it. By an all black jellyfish, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry, very punny, very pun today, pun heavy. But I said that out in the living room, my girlfriend was like, how do you know it wasn't a female stingray? And I was like, well, simple. A female stingray would have just said something mean and swam away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There we go. A little psychological hit. Male stingrays would like, stab you, swim away. A female stingray would have been like, Australia sucks and your wife's ugly. Swim, 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 swim. Crazy. But if we're assuming that stingray is black, do you think black stingrays call each other Ray Ray, or is that just me? No? Oh. Probably not, probably not. They maybe do. You think you think black 
like vampires call each other young bloods? Okay, I'm done. Alright, alright, alright. There you go. I had to say that in there. Uh, no, but I feel like there's. I actually found out that the stingrays and sharks are actually part of the same family. Yeah. So it makes me feel like there's some inner fish fighting. You know what I mean? Like, it makes me feel like the sharks are like the Chinese, Japanese of the group, and like the, the stingrays are like the Vietnamese, Filipino of the group. You know? Either way, they're both being sold by some guy with sandals, let's be honest, right? There we go. I didn't say it, but you saw it, so that means you're racist. There we go. That's right. That's right. Fantastic. Uh, I, when, I was a, when I was living in Utah, I actually got really big into history, really big into history over there. And uh, I found out some crazy details. I don't know if you guys know. Did you guys know that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. cheated on Coretta Scott King with several white women? Yeah, well. Did, right. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Which makes me think why he wanted to end segregation so bad. Wow. He was like, hold on, my brothers. Hold on, my brothers. Hold on. <laughs> Have you seen what this white type pink country can do for us, baby? <laughs> Crazy stuff. I want all my brown and brown and black brothers to experience this, you know? That snow bunny was so good, he went home and he wrote a 17-minute speech. A 17-minute speech, man. I fucked a girl one time, I got Chick-fil-A afterwards. That's it, man. I didn't do anything special. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah. No, but uh, I'm going to take it down a notch. Uh, guys, my dad recently died. Yeah, dad recently died. If you guys can just do something for me, can you guys just start booing me real quick? Just start booing. Yeah. Man, you guys sound exactly like my dad, man. Like, oh, man. All right, peak, motherfucker. That's right, that's right. No, but he was cool. Uh, before he passed, I was like, dude, let's do some bucket list type shit. I want to do some crazy shit with you. And he goes, yeah, whatever you want to do. I was like, we should climb a mountain. And then I go, you know what? Fuck that. You know what we should do? We should get high. Let's get high together. And my dad stops me and he goes, hey, Frankie, I can't get high because if I get high, I get horny. Oh. Yeah. I was like, hey dad, I just like you as a friend, dog. Relax, man. <laughs> I know we go way back. Way back in the sack. That's right, that's right. Uh, I recently went to a strip club. Woo! Hell yeah, hell yeah. I went to a strip club, and the thing about me is, if you can already tell, I like to ask a lot of questions when I shouldn't. Uh, I was getting a lap dance from this beautiful woman named Bambi. Bambi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah, you know her, right? Yeah, fuck yeah, she gave me a rash, but, um, but uh, this girl named Bambi, and then during the lap dance, I was like, why do they call you Bambi? You know what I mean? Are you, are you a sexy fawn? Are you like the forest? You like the outdoors? She goes, no, the reason why they call me Bambi is because both my parents were shot and killed. Yeah. And I stopped her and I was like, hold on, you're not Bambi, you're Batman. You need to get the fuck out of here, man. We'll save the city one lap at a time. That's right, baby. Woo! Shine the light. That's right. That's right. No, but I'm originally from Orange County. I know. I know. I know. I know you can tell. You know, I don't like my voice. I really don't like my voice. It's very corporate. You know, this is the voice you get when you hang out with a lot of white kids named Noah growing up. You know, this is the voice you get. Because I look like I know where the best tacos are, but I also sound like I can call ice on myself. It's not a good look. Not a good look, man. Not a good look at all. No, but I'm originally from Orange County, and the homeless. Hey, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. And uh, uh, I, the homeless there are very entitled. Very, very entitled. I uh, was trying to buy my way into heaven one night, and I saw this homeless guy, and I got him some Del Taco. And I go up to the said guy, and I'm like, here you go, man. Here's some Del Taco. And you, know what he, and you know what he says? He goes, is that Del Taco? And I go, yes, it is. And he goes, oh, don't worry, man. I had that last night. The next phrase he says will forever ring in my mind. He goes, don't worry, man. God got me. That's where I had to say, this is God getting you, motherfucker. Del Taco twice in 24 hours, okay? I had to eat right in front of him, show him how martyr I was. But, uh, I'll leave you guys all with this. My, uh, I just moved back, but my, my 10-year-old sister, she came up to me today. She said, Frankie, I want to be a gold digger. Hell yeah! yeah, yeah Hell yeah! yeah. And, and I was like, why do you want to be a gold digger? And she said, word for word, because they don't have to work. Yeah! yeah. So then I looked at her and I said, well, they are not ugly. Oh! Gotta keep, gotta keep him humble. All right, guys, there you go. This is my time. Take it easy.